Yay! Hello everyone, welcome to Chocolate Talk. My name's Chocolate 4. Um, this is the first episode of this. Um, that, that was like <laughs> two seconds of silence. Um, I decided to do a drawing show just because um, one uh, uh, person I watch um, called Steve Ray Bro, he does a lot of drawing uh, kind of things like that. Um, he, he just draws random stuff and then does a speed up with uh, commentary over it. So uh, I thought that would actually be kind of cool to do. Um, so I actually drew on on a notepad in real life, well not a notepad, sketch pad and uh, I guess IRL or in real life um, Sandy writing uh, Applejack from MLP and uh, Spongebob um, just because they were both uh, southern characters um, I thought that would be kind of cool to kind of do um, honestly I didn't think it would look as well as as well as good as it actually came out looking but it actually came out looking really really cool actually um ooh. I just I'm sorry I've been not here for a while like not on YouTube but um, a lot of things have happened in my life I keep saying that in the stupid I said that in the update video, and I said that in a video that's not going to be uploaded for a while that I recorded the other day, but I just, uh, I've been very busy with life and stuff, so... The fact that I actually have time to record the commentary of this is, uh, crazy. Um... So... Basically... For... Um... This drawing, actually, it's kind of weird, because... As you see, I'm, I'm doing the line art right now of the two, um, you know, the two, you know, Sandy and Applejack, obviously. What the hell am I saying? Um, <laughs> but, um, it, the weird thing is, because Spongebob has, the, the show, Spongebob, has black outlines, right? Pretty much black outlines all the way around, but they're kind of, sometimes they're colored black, and sometimes they're not, so I accidentally, as you see, like, I keep pulling up Google in the recording. Um, some of Sandy's, like, fur has, like, darker brown outlines in it instead of just black, so I kind of screwed that up. I just, as an artist, like, black uh, outlines better than most, um... What the hell is it called? I don't even know. I, I don't like colored outlines opposed to just black and white outlines, but for the for Applejack, just because MLP, they're all like uh, colorful ponies, they usually use kind of, a, you know, just because they're all colorful, you kind of have to use colorful lines too, otherwise it's going to look kind of wrong, and you'll see that in a little bit when I eventually get to uh, drawing Applejack into this recording, but still. Next time I, um, cause, cause I recorded this, um, with Fraps, and I kind of recorded the whole screen here, instead of just one window, so you keep seeing me pop in and out of a, you know, keep seeing me text people on Skype, and, um, you know, going into Google and stuff like that. Um, so next time, you know, I do a recording like this, I'm probably gonna just focus on the Photoshop window. I was almost gonna scrap this episode just because of that, just because there's a lot of there was a lot of editing involved. I was just like, oh, there's like you know, five minutes of me typing to someone. Like you don't want to see that. You know, this is a drawing video. So maybe next time I'm probably going to just um, see that. Like what what the hell was that? <laughs> that was that was that was a living tombstone uh, music video that nobody's going to understand. So basically what I did there, um, just because I have one layer that's blank that I'm doing the line art over, and I have another one of just the notebook sketch, and then for layer three, which is the purple over there, that's just so I know, um, 
That's just so I know that, oh, the sketch layer of the notebook uh, drawing isn't the background. That's that's why I put that there. Just because, you know, it, it, would, it would just confuse me otherwise. Um, you know. Most art, like even I have, I have some non-artist friends that watch me draw sometimes, and even they're like, "Oh yeah, like when you when you start a drawing on a different layer, you know, or put something on a different layer, that's like awful." Like even non-artists know the pain of like doing something on the wrong layer. So, wow, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Hey guys, so I get. <coughs> <coughs> My throat is like really dry <laughs> and I don't have a drink in here, which is probably a bad idea starting a uh, How long is this video? How long do I have to do this for? 20, 20, 20 or so minutes, probably like 25. I have to do this for like a half an hour. That's probably not good. Um, I guess since this is a Sandy video, I could talk about agency for a bit. Um, just my experiences with agency and stuff. If, um, you know, if anybody doesn't know, um, of the comic Agency by, uh, Jedi and Solo on DeviantArt, um, it's very good. It's basically a fan comic, um, involving a bunch of quote-unquote furry, um, cartoon characters throughout the years and putting them in a very, I guess you could say a cop dr drama? I guess you could say cop drama? Um... And it's it's extremely good. That's that's why I'm doing a fan dub of it. Um, you know they're gonna see it. like every other video I do. It's like oh, do you guys know about agency? Just because I'm you know not making agency, but I'm kind of involved with it too, putting voices to it. So I'm kind of like hey, hear about agency? It's a thing. The career. So honestly. Wow, like watching this back, cause I, cause I recorded this like a couple months ago. So watching this back, I was like, oh my god, I really did all this. And this is actually, this is this is actually a couple days like put together in one, <laughs> a couple days of recording put together in one. You ever have one of those nights where you just like completely zone out like completely oh my gosh I'm having one of those nights because I was originally supposed to do this video at like 6 p.m. now I'm doing it like 8 <laughs> 40 just because nobody's in the house and I'm like I have to freaking do something while nobody's in the house otherwise I'm gonna be absolutely brain dead um, so honest um, honestly, it was kind of fun because I've never done the Spongebob style in like a proper digital drawing, so... Or, or on paper. I've never done one on paper either, honestly. So, that, that was kind of cool to do. Um, I'm, do. I'm doing the face wrong here and I realized like halfway through, I'm like, oh, that's the wrong... <laughs> and then I just paint bucket it and it's like, screw it, whatever. That happens sometimes, you just gotta move on with drawings and keep going. Ugh. I'm sorry I keep making like weird just like ugh, ooh, ah noises, but oh my gosh, my throat. You have no idea. No idea the torment. Um, but honestly, the reason I'm working on Agency, the fan dub show or whatever, just because, um, I wanted, I wanted to make a cartoon on YouTube for a while. Um, it was called Cartown. Uh, heck, you can see my two characters, uh, Dial, Dial Up on the left, my little robot, and uh, Dusty on the right. Those are my two characters from my cartoon or comic I'm trying to get off the ground. So basically I was trying to get voice actors from that. Um, 
to, to do to do uh, something like that. And I was like, wait, I don't know any voice actors, so how about we do something more, you know, kind of more, I, I don't want to say inclined, but just something that people would take a liking to quicker than just, oh, these are some dude's characters, who cares, you know, something like, oh, I remember Sandy, and I remember, you know, this character and that character. That, that, that'd be cool. To do, to do, like, voices for something like that, because it's characters I kind of know. <laughs> I keep saying that, uh, uh, people keep saying, like, you basically used and to, you know, <laughs> jump, jump off of, and I'm like, yeah, kind of, but, you know, still. <laughs> I just, I just love the comic, and I was just like, this would be really cool to do. Um, wow, even, even in my drawing videos, I have to mention Agency, just because, uh, Sandy's in it. Um... And that's the, uh, I just want to mention the, the hat, the cowboy hat she has on is from the, uh, boating school episode. What the heck was it? The boating school. When Spongebob, uh, takes his driving test for the very first time and they hide the walkie-talkie in his hat, I wanted to replicate that hat, so that's the hat she's wearing. Don't ask me why, I just thought it would be a cool little reference to put in the picture. Um, what am I gonna say? Clap, um, clapping to... A Snapple bottle, a Snapple cap, and a Gatorade cap together. That's that's some commentary for you. Here, here's all the commentary in the video you'll ever need. Hear that? Hear that? Over the over the Zelda music. Do you hear that? Oh God! Oh! Oh no! Okay, so if you were listening to me in another tab, you won't know what the heck. I, I probably just made somebody jump out of their seats. <laughs> Clashing the stupid. Snapple bottle across my room. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Um, so there's something I wanted to talk about. Oh my god. Something I wanted to talk about. Um, probably I should have mentioned near the beginning of this video, but as uh, James, my good friend, says, I'm horrible at intros. So, um, honestly, what was I going to say? Shoot. Damn it! I just I lost the I lost the thought. Why? Um, what I was gonna say, I've had a very I I've been drawing for four years. I've been drawing for only four years. I started maybe maybe five years because I started um, maybe a little before high school. Because high school uh, I went to a technical school for two years and then didn't, it didn't really work out, so I kind of jumped out of that. Um, so. The, all the shops were okay, it was just like, oh, welding, I don't want to do welding, and, um, what was I going to say? Not welding. Now, now you're seeing my Skype messages. <laughs> um, not welding, what the hell was it? Well, welding, carpentry, and, like, all the, you know, there, there was hair cutting and, you know, shops and technical schools. They didn't look too appetizing. I almost took TV radio, which is basically, like, editing uh, film and stuff, and I'm already good at that. And, like, the weird thing was I went into um, the shop, and half the things they were doing I pretty much knew. Like, not, not to offend the teacher or anything, I know the teacher of that shop isn't going to see this or anything, but not to offend anyone, but honestly, uh... What was I going to say? Not, not to, like... Like, not, not, not to offend, like, people, but, you know, I knew most of the stuff that you know, they were teaching in that shop, so it was kind of like, why would I need to know this? This is kind of dumb. Um, so, I ended up taking graphic arts, which was not what I expected it to be. Because I expected, like, oh, we draw stuff, and, um, you know... I didn't expect animation, but I expected, like, oh, it's art, let's do some art. Um, you know, blah blah blah, let's draw things, get better at drawing so I can get a career in graphic arts, you know, doing graphics for companies or whatever, and it was like, no. 
Uh, you do you do graphics and you put them on t-shirts and it was more like it doesn't matter what you draw as long as it looks good on a t-shirt or a poster and I'm like that's not what I want to do with my life <laughs> that's kind of like what what's going on no fault to the teacher or anything um, just you know I just it wasn't it wasn't my sort of not none yeah I guess I should say environment it wasn't my sort of environment you can see me watching game chasers in the background. I really need to record just one screen because you're seeing me just bounce around like all over the place in this recording. <laughs> this is so stupid, but whatever, you know. Need to. Wow, I didn't. I didn't edit this at all, did I? <laughs> but whatever. Um. Wow. This is just, this is just me. Did I leave the computer at this part of the recording? Like, what the heck? Um, hello? Oop, oop, you there? Up oh, there he is. There, there he is. Don't worry about it. He's alive. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, my throat. Horrible. So yeah, like, art schooling, art in school-wise hasn't been, wasn't that good, and I left, I left technical school for other reasons, um, went back to, uh, high school and did that sort of thing, so, you know, I decided, hey, I'm a pretty fair drawer, drawer, I'm a pretty good drawer, so I was like, might as well make a YouTube series about it, me drawing, you know, <laughs> and me talking over it, even though it's probably the dumbest crap ever, but, you know, I kind of watch kind of content like reviews and podcasts and stuff that I just listen to on other tabs, doing other things, either editing, well, you can't really edit videos while, uh, you can't really edit videos while drawing. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what's up with that. Am I getting like stage fright? I don't know what's freaking up with that. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just losing words left and right. So you can't really edit and you know listen to something at the same time because you kind of have to listen to like uh, audio keys. The audio keys mean like you know if I yell and I want to put a cool graphic on it, you know like an explosion or something, you kind of have to listen for that, you know. But what I usually do when I'm editing anything video-wise, I usually put something on in the background, like not like a YouTube video in another tab, like have a radio in the room or something. Same with drawing usually, because usually if you have headphones on, you don't focus as well. I mean, I usually do for drawing stuff like this just because it's easy, but if I'm doing a commission or something like super important, uh, I usually would just keep a radio in the room, especially since, you know, also, also people walk in and out of my room, it's like I don't want to be ill-gracious to them and I usually, whenever somebody enters the room, I take one earphone off just to make sure I hear them correctly because I used to do that all the time. I used to have my... I walked away from the computer again. Look at this crap. Unprofessional. Look at this. Awful. There, there he is. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Absolutely. Oh, that looks creepy. <laughs> I forgot I did that. But honestly, I keep saying honestly. F me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so I don't know. I, a lot of people are like, are you a brony or whatever? And I'm like, that's not really... That's, that's not, I keep typing to people and losing my train of thought just because it's so hot in this room. Um, that, Brony hasn't really been a thing since like 2011, right? Like, what's that about? I don't understand that. Although like, 
season five of MLP is out, like it kind of made people jump a little bit. And I saw the first episode of the fifth season. I still haven't seen season four season season finale of MLP. So I don't know. Did I walk away again? Or am I typing something? I can't tell with the stupid banner over the screen. I'm seeing what you guys are seeing right now. I'm not seeing raw footage. I, I kind of am not, even though, because if I put this down, hang on. Now I need to see. Oh, whoop. Did I make my biggest freeze? What the heck's that about? Oh, now we're okay. <laughs> I don't know what my, I don't know what my editing software is doing now. That's weird. But comment down there is Brony or Brony. I know there's still Bronies around, but is it like as big of of like I guess you could say a movement as it was like uh, a couple of years back? Because it used to be like I'm a Brony. It's a movement. Like freaking I don't know the NWO or some crap. It's like what? It's like are you are you creating the Brony Dream Team? Like <laughs> yo yo suckers. My o my OC my OC spit fire dish <laughs> my 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 o my OC uh, cher cherry rocket gonna gonna bust bust you up up in your hometown <laughs> like like what we're all bronies bro you know Ex respect the friendship <laughs> remember the name <laughs> like I don't I I didn't understand and that was a lot in when I was in technical school that was a big thing because I got in technical school. 2011, and that was when I think it was halfway through season one of MLP, and people were like, "Oh, oh my God, this is the best thing ever!" And now people have kind of toned down. And it's like, "Yeah, we need to grow up and <laughs> do, do something with my life besides uh, watching a show and you know, fapping all over the place." Because <laughs> that's that's definitely not good. I'll tell you though, MLP eyes are like very odd to do because the eyelashes the thing is it's like one all it's all one solid like white color okay then the eyelashes are there right and the eyelashes kind of trail into kind of like an anime kind of circle thing like like you see there kind of it trails off into its own thing but i didn't do it right because you kind of have to make it smaller and make it blend into the iris i guess also, also the uh, pupils are not like normal pupils, or even like Sonic pupils, or any cartoon pupil pupils, just because they're huge, and the black part is like very huge, and then you have the two little, um, I guess the white parts would be called the eye gleam, because I see in cartoons like, like characters have the iris, and then they kind of have the reflection off the eye, so I kind of call it eye gleam, I don't know if there's the official, I don't know, TV tropes, uh, word for that if somebody could figure that out for me that'd be great like what's the uh if you see like a little and i don't mean like somebody winks in a cartoon it's like bing not not that i mean like when you're actually looking at a cartoon character's eye and you see like a little i'm like pointing at myself like you guys can see me should i face cam this yeah put that down in the comments too should i face cam this series uh that'd be kind of weird <laughs> honestly to face cam this series but if you guys want to see my dirty mug, you know, I don't care. Um, also, honestly, um, what do you want me to draw? Like, um, I don't want characters, obviously, just like, I want you to draw this, doing this. I honestly want more, like, give me something not a lot, give me, like, a series. Give me, like, a obscure series, like, oh, I want you to draw something from... Jimmy Neutron, I want you to draw something from Yu Yu Hakusho, I don't know, just give me something weird like that, I want you to draw, or like something weird like, I want you to draw a female character from this, this cartoon, or I want you to draw a vehicle from this cartoon, you know, not even a cartoon, like a real, real person, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I really want ideas for this, because this is basically freestyle, and I was like, I was drawing this for, um, my DeviantArt, um, and I wasn't going to upload this, upload the actual pictures of DeviantArt until, um, until the video was up for it, um, so it's not even up there yet, but, um, I'll link my new DeviantArt, because I made a new one, um, 
I'll link my new Deviant art down in the description, along with all the music for this episode. Um, honestly? Honestly, uh... I'm losing my train of thought again. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter because the episode's over. <laughs> oh my god. This was horrible. Oh yeah, and I made I made a little I made a little background for it too. I kind of basically took a screenshot of a um, MLP and I uh, of Sweet Apple Acres. I'm sorry from the from MLP and I basically like put a SpongeBob sky in the background. And this is what I always do. I always filter a back. Um, I don't. I'm really horrible at painting uh, backdrops. Usually when it's cities, more so than hills. This is why I actually edited this and drew it myself. Kinda. Um, you can see your tree but tree dome out in the distance. That's pretty cool. I always... Because right now it doesn't really look right. I always put a filter over the background. Like like what, what I'm doing now. Just so it looks okay. Otherwise it doesn't really look okay. It looks kind of crappy. Otherwise. Um... So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the first Chalk and Talk. Um, it's been really cool uh, sitting down talking. Um, hey, put something in the description. I really want, not in the description, in the comments. Comment something that you want me to draw. Like like I said a little bit ago, please. I really want to see what you guys um, want me to do in terms of, you know, my expertise. Because it's cool and stuff like that. So, yeah. Bye.